So uh, these comments and the mini like them are by far the most common that I receive on my videos and uh, probably for a good reason. Pretty much over the last year I've been building up quite the reputation for being irresponsible, reckless and sometimes outright abusive to my equipment. Whether it's on accident ah, my face. or less on accident. Thank you. Ah, my equipment is undoubtedly taking a beating. Well today we're going to finally clear things up by going over all the equipment I've broken as well as injuries I may have occurred in the process and just a whole lot of other fun stuff along the way. Ah. Uh -oh. So to kick this off, let's just full dive right into the juiciest part, my valve index. This is by far the most expensive headset that I use on a regular basis and the one you have certainly seen the most damage occur to. Now let's play a little game. Which stunt do you think destroyed my headset? Was it A, the power bottom? B, the yoga ball jump? Or C, the no-no square? No, no, don't touch me there. Yo! What did I tell you about that? What are you doing in my room? What did I tell you about that? What are you doing? You better lock those answers in quick. All right, so uh, let's see what we have here. If you guess C, then you are wrong. The only thing that that destroyed was my dignity. The correct answer is A, the power bottom. That thing hit the ground hard. Like I was not expecting it to go airborne at all. But so pretty much the end result is there's something kind of rattling around inside of there. Uh, it'll no longer connect to my PC, so that's a big old ripperoni right there. But hey, at least I cannot imagine a more honorable way to go out than being ass slammed to death. I do want to take a moment to give a round of applause to Valve for building a truly tanky headset. I mean, like at the beginning, I was being so careful, but literally three videos in, I was like, this thing is absolutely invincible and is never going to break. The true reason I'm not afraid to smack the ground is because the Index really makes a great helmet, and even after all this abuse, my cable clip is still intact. So suck on that, Thrill. Seeker. Now, unfortunately, my second headset didn't do nearly as well. Um, the first headset installed a false sense of confidence in me, leading me to break my new replacement in only two weeks. Uh, however, before we get into that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Fillmore 10. Although everyone's comments fill my heart with joy, it's sponsors like Fillmore 10 providing me with the valuable resources to keep doing what I'm doing. So jumping right into it, Fillmore 10 is a popular, easy to use, and budget friendly film editor suitable for all levels of creators. Whether you are advanced or have absolutely zero editing skills, Fillmore a simple but powerful interface will provide you with all the tools required to get you moving in the right direction. Fillmore 10 has all the must have features like dark and light modes, multi track timelines, and what really sets them apart is the loads of built in templates effects, and even royalty-free music available to make things effortless and increase production. For those wanting to add some extra flair, Fomora 10 has many new features to take your content to the next level like motion tracking, color matching, audio ducking, and by far the most useful for me is the green screen. Allow me to demonstrate. It's literally as simple as hopping into the chroma key tab, selecting the color, and voila, the background is gone. The absolute best part is Fomora 10 is free to try. There will be a watermark, however this gives you the opportunity to explore all the great features before dropping your hard earned dollars. Something also rather neat is Filmora is holding a giveaway and to enter you just need to comment what you think about Filmora using hashtag createwithfilmora to enter to win a one year free license. He's behind me isn't he? <laughs> So uh, the death of my second index came one drunken night when my boy Waterfox thought he would challenge my stupidity. Uh, he gave it his all, running on a treadmill until his body collapsed and he rolled to the ground. <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh, there he goes! <laughs> A flawless execution, I must say. However, he forgot one vital thing. When it comes to doing stupid ass shit in VR, I am God. Listen, I will sacrifice myself to you. It'll be a video, and then check the resolution. I'm not leaving, No, Kermie's no is the last thing I heard before hitting Mach 5 spinning on my hoverboard before everything cuts the black. 
Uh, pretty much while falling, I stepped on my cable and yanked my head forcefully to the side, ripping the cable straight out of the socket in the headset, destroying all the internals that it had plugged into. So yeah, thanks to that, I was banished back to my Rift S while I made another purchase and waited the eight long weeks. But anyways, enough about the headsets, what about everything else? As you can see here, my controller has a bit of a story to tell. This thing lasted surprisingly long and most of the damage was just accrued over time, however there are some more notable points. This little spot down here, which was the first major damage, happened while I was doing this juggling spin in front of Jeff, lost balance and fell. I ended up snapping this part up here while attempting to mosh with my friends and basically backhanded my wall. Oh fuck! <laughs> Dude, that legit actually broke it. That's what did it. <laughs> I legit thought the controller was done for, but I gorilla taped it back together and everything was Gucci for a while until uh, this part broke off while I was doing the mime jump routine. I've been trying to do that and it's not working. Holy fuck. Now, fortunately, I planned ahead and had a second set on hand, which I promptly destroyed again while drinking some champagne on New Year's. <laughs> Pretty much, I managed to turn an $8 bottle into a $250 one by simultaneously destroying my right controller and my waist tracker. However, I do feel rather blessed that my track strap plus didn't short out and explode my off. Now, as far as the rest of my body is concerned, I've been pretty fortunate not to get any major injuries. However, there are a few things that sucked pretty bad. During this little treadmill part, my foot got sucked in, making me fall forward. You could literally see the whole ass thing lifting up with me. That kind of tweaked my ankle and tore my shoe up a bit, but worst of all was getting stared dead faced by this Digimon while I suffered. But the office chair bit, I was expecting to fall back, not get totally launched. I landed with my back at the edge of the chair and that kind of tweaked it for a couple months, but it's all good now. Uh, you could definitely see the suffering in this extended clip. I'm okay, I just gotta go water my cat. I'll be back. Are you good? No, no, full oh, valve voice. Are yeah. you okay? Are <laughs> you good? You good. <laughs> get the head out of also, a while ago, I was filming this call to action for my Arizona Sunshine video, and while faking getting shot, I somehow managed to knee myself in the funny bone. Uh, I think the reaction says it all. And in this last one, I was exceptionally dumb. Uh, Psyche and I started doing these yoga ball chugs in VR and they almost always end in disaster. And this one was no exception. I chugged as hard as I could, but when I lost balance and fell back, I hit my head against the wall and the bottle hit me in the tooth. Judging by the way it felt, I thought for sure my tooth was gonna be broken, but it actually ended up being all right. But uh, cans only from now on. And that's pretty much it. I know you're probably wondering about the quests in Quest 2. Um, I did put them in some risky situations and knock them around a bit, but trust me, they are built solid. And if you need any more confirmation, check out Thrill Seeker's video. He literally yeeted his across the room and tossed one in a dryer for God's sakes and it turned out all right. To wrap this thing up, although over this year I've broken two indexes, a couple controllers, a few cables, and a tracker, that's really not all too bad considering how much I play and what they have been through. I do plan on doing many more things and some of them are going to be pretty out there, so let's all just say a little prayer to give my headsets the strength to make it through and I'll see you guys all in the next one.